What is up, people? I know I said uh, that there will be a stream today, but once again, I'm gonna have to delay that because of technical issues. Uh, I've decided I'll delay till Thursday. But on Thursday, when you come for that stream, you will thank me because this card that you see in front of you, it'll be completely different on that day, and it'll be totally worth the wait. But um, yeah, till then, let's do a game of spot the BS with this card. These are the fallacies and stuff for today. So let's begin. Wearing the color black, according to the Sanatan science, is not recommended for everybody. According to the Sanatan science, there's a fallacy right there that's appeal to tradition. Let's understand the color black is the most absorbent and that is why on the most sunny days, you are recommended not to wear the color black. So the color black, let's talk about this. See, the color of any object is the wavelength of light reflected from it. So some wavelengths are absorbed, some are reflected. And what is reflected is what you see as the color. If you have something green like this, that's because uh, every color other than green has been absorbed and green is reflected. But if you have something black like this, that's because all the colors are being absorbed, none are being reflected. So because of that, since all the colors are being absorbed, the heat contained in that radiation is all being absorbed. And so on a sunny day, when you wear something black, you will tend to feel hotter. But confusing that with any other idea of energy, any other energy that she's going to talk about is a false equivalence. We'll mark that fallacy, but let's hear her first. Because it absorbs the most. So if you are somebody who is sensitive to the nature of the surrounding that you are in, or you are already having a lot of difficulty in your own self within your own body, black color might be absorbing a lot of energies from your surrounding that you don't actually want. Ah uh, yes, she's made a false equivalence to equate that radiation that I'm talking about with the energy that she's talking about. Now this energy so first of all, there's a false equivalence. Uh, she can't equate these two. And this energy is something intangible. Nobody knows what this energy is. It's something immaterial. It can't be uh, observed or uh, it's intangible basically. So I will put untestable claim. Yep, I will put untestable claim on that. Let's keep watching the video. And this is why they recommend that people should not wear the color black for a longer period of time. Om Shakti Om. So those are the fallacies in this video. Let's watch the next one. Jitne mere bhai log hai jo butter ban khate hain, jara ek bar socho ki 20 rupees mein wo aapko itna butter de kaise sakte hain? Ye butter nahi hai, ye hydrogenated vegetable oil jo aapki health ke liye bahut hi zyada dangerous hai. Okay, uh, there is some truth to this. Hydrogenation of vegetable oils is a process where they pass hydrogen gas to remove the unsaturation in uh, the fat molecules to make them saturated. Basically, that improves the shelf life of the oil fried items and things like that. Such oils are easier to store and manage, etc. Hydrogenation, the process of hydrogenation, in addition to making the oils saturated, what they also do is they make some unsaturated bonds trans bonds over cis bonds. Now all this is a lot of chemistry, but basically trans oils have been shown to be uh, negatively impactful to heart health. There's a lot of research that has gone into this. So hydrogenation has negative impacts on heart health. He hasn't provided evidence for this, but yeah, it is correct what he's saying. The modern um, process of hydrogenation is safer Although uh, I need to research that a bit more, but in general, don't rely on hydrogenated oil. भारत में 30 करोड़ से ज़्यादा लोग मैगी खाते हैं। बच्चों से लेके बुजुर्ग इंसान हर किसी ने मैगी खाया है। बारिश में मैगी, पहाड़ों पे मैगी, प्यार वाली मैगी और आजकल तो चॉकलेट वाली मैगी भी आ गई है। अगर आपको पता है मैगी बनती है मैदे से, जिसमें सिर्फ़ वसे सिंपल काब्ज होते हैं। सिंपल काब्ज आर नॉट negative for your health. If you have a lot of simple carbs very often, that's when you will uh, lack a lot of other nutrients in your diet and that's a problem. So eating sim simple carbs once in a while, maybe once in a week is actually fine. You can give stomach issues and in the coming time diabetes bhi ho sakte. Yeah, I would call this fear mongering uh, because uh, he hasn't said the the amount of simple carbs or the rate or uh, the consistency you should have simple carbs 
four simple carbs in your diet which can lead to these diseases he has in stated that so i call this yeah. field mein highly carcinogenic palm oil se banke highly carcinogenic palm oil that's definitely fear mongering jisse cancer hone ke chances bahut badh jate hain isme trans fat bhi hai jo ki aapki arteries ko block karne mein bahut madad karega jisse aap it's correct trans fats do uh, have negative impacts on heart heart health but um, yeah you eat it in moderation and i think your body is perfectly good at handling trans fats in your diets in moderation if you have one packet of chips in a week it won't do anything to you aapke dil mein dard hai disco hoga aur aapke doston ko free mein terbi ka khana milega saath mein isme bahut sare amount mein artificial flavors aur ingredient milaye jate hain jo ki maggi ke taste ko bahut zyada bada dete hain aur aapke marne ke chances ko bhi magar ek shit man the amount of fear mongering in this video is like उट दिस वर्ल्ड तरीका है जिससे आप अपनी मैगी को हेल्दी बना सकते हैं और उसकी कैलरीज को बहुत कम कर सकते हैं और वो है शिराटा की नूडल और ये कोई स्पॉन्सर वीडियो नहीं है इसके सौ ग्राम में सिर्फ सिर्फ नौ कैलोरीज होती है आपने सही सुना नौ कैलोरीज आप इवन इसमें मैगी मसाला एड करके भी सो दैट गुड ईटिंग समथिंग दैट हैज लेस कैलरीज इज गुड फॉर वेट लॉस बट इट्स ऑल्सो बाउंड टू बी न्यूट्रिशनली डेफिशियंट ईटिंग दैट ऑल द टाइम वोट सेटिस्फाई और न्यूट्रिशनल नीड्स This is the problem with someone who doesn't understand the science of diet or calories or you know why you need nutrition why your body what your body does with the nutrition when someone like that talks about this in a video just cuz he's got some muscles and he's a fitness trainer in a gym he's clearly he doesn't understand science from what he's saying it's very clear he wouldn't say all this if he understood the science so yeah let's go to the next one Do you shake your leg while sitting on a chair? Stop this habit immediately. So according to Vedas, shaking your leg. According to Vedas, what is that? Uh, it's an appeal to tradition already marked. But it's clearly a superstition. This guy is rationalizing a superstition. I should mark rationalization. While sitting on a chair, attract downfall and confusion into your subconscious. You also start extraordinary claims being made without showing any evidence. I don't have extraordinary claims in my card so I can't mark it but losing abundance in your life reason the energy has to flow but doing it can create negative flow of energy yeah energy has to flow untestable claim extraordinary claims oh shit extraordinary claims it is there my bad extraordinary claims no evidence provided you know what i'll call this misinformation also i think a lot of even the diet videos that i showed you are all misinformation So now you know the reason so stop doing this from next time. Thank now you know the reason no I don't know the reason bro. So that's it for today's video. Mm, those are the fallacies that we saw today. I, there is a ton of videos like this that I have. Uh, I only hope that I'll be able to cover all or most of them and hopefully one of these days get a bingo. Um uh, but uh, yeah. So that's it. I'll see you in the next one.